What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom of Voyager class, Tigatron. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have some lovely artwork of Tigatron in his beast mode, and over here, some more lovely artwork of him in his robot mode. On this side, we have the lovely Kingdom artwork back to this side. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, a Voyager class A, class of V, a head only class A Voyager up top. Maximal symbol or Cybertron on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the card slash sticker, and again, we got a uh, we got Unicron, very very sparkly. Go back to sticker. You have Unicron. About to eat a planet. Hooray for eating planets. Hooray for stickers and carts. And moving right along, here we have Tigatron, the newest Voyager class figure in this kingdom line. And here he is in his robot mode. And I think the robot mode looks quite, quite good. In my opinion, I do quite dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at that noggin, but this one, this noggin up here. There we go. Hey, nicely done head sculpt. Like the coloration there. You just get a little bit of orange there in the uh, head crest. Tiger head chest going on there. Some stripage going on. The face crotch, the screaming weird face crotch. It's there. I don't know why, but it is. The forearms do have, I don't know how well this comes across on camera, but the forearms do have this pearlescent paint on them. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is there. And you also get the pearlescent paint on these pieces on his thighs as well. Again, hard to tell. It just kind of all looks white, but it is, it is a nice pearlescent finish. And you get that nice metallic coloration there on the shins. Some more stripe edge. You have dozies. He's got little heelsies. And moving up the back, you know, he has the typical backpack. The backpack he should have. The, uh... Be small legs just hanging out back there. That is accurate, so hey, I can work with it. Now, articulation wise, um, I think the head is on a ball joint, but just due to the shape of his helmet there, you don't really get any wiggly waggly. He can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Um, arms can do a full 360, but obviously the stuff back here will get in the way. You do have some forward and back movement on that shoulder. Arms can move up and down. Again, if you work around those back pieces there, uh, you do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow, so you have a nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation. Legs, they can move forward that far. Back that far, outward. He can do the full splits and a little extra. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. They can move up. They can move down. Lots of down. You do have lots of ankle tiltage and you can move that heel piece down if you need it for supporting any poses. And as far as accessories go, um, he does have the, uh, the tail. <laughs> the beast motel and you can plug this into his hand you can use that as a weapon so a typical tail becomes a weapon deal he does also have the uh the gun which is always looks quite disturbing but hey it's a thing it is what it is there you go you just got some pink there for the guts and yeah that's just always kind of gross this is just a gross looking weapon but hey it is what it is you can plug that into his hands. So you can pew pew whip whip pew pew whoop ha. You can do all kinds of that. Now, is the gun bluish compatible? Um, I don't know actually. I haven't, for some reason, haven't actually thought to uh to look. Is it bluish compatible? Oh yes, it is. It's totally bluish compatible. You can plug a bluish on there. You can do a big old tiger bluish. Why not? Tiger Bloosh, Tiger Uppercut, hey! So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Scorponok and Black Arachnia. With Waspinator and Rattrap. 
with Cheetor and Primal. With Rhinox and Eraser. With Dinobots and Megs. Whoop, there's Megs. Even though I don't like comparing Masterpiece stuff to Mainline stuff, it's the only other... <laughs> one of the only other Tigatrons I have. I don't have a lot of other Tigatrons. But there he is with the Masterpiece Tigatron. Duh, it's bigger. And here he is with the original Beast Wars Tigatron. Because... Is it precious? Is it precious? It's precious! It's oh so precious. So... There you go! So that is basically it for the robot mode. I think it looks quite good personally. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So remove the weapons, put those off to the side for now, and we shall commence. So first thing we want to do is we just kind of want to bring these arms up and out of the way so we can flip out these side panels here. And you want to make sure that these line up with this back panel here. So just get those into place like that. They can bring the arm down. You want to bend the arm up at the uh, bottom joint here. Line that up like so. And then just rotate it out at the bicep. And there are tabs and slots here. And all that will line up. And that should sit like that. And the second verse is just like the first. Bring it up on that bottom joint. Rotate it out. And that will sit right there. There you go. You got everything lined up like that. You can bring these down just to kind of get them into a better position. And now we're going to take the uh, tiger head here. We're just going to give it a tug and extend it on these hinges. Bring the tiger head down. Bring the robot mode head down. And then bring the tiger head back up. There you go. And you're just going to collapse this up. And this will just hook in under this panel right here. And there you go. Once you've done that, you want to take the two halves of the chestial region, bring them together, and get all that tabbed in like so. You can bring those legs down. There we go. Now we can work on the back half. He um, does have a little butt plate here. You just tab that down. As far as the legs go, flip in the heel spur. You want to bring down this paw, and then you want to come back here, and you want to push on this. And that will push the section forward to fill in that gap. And then you can take the foot, flip that in, and that will sit in there. Then you can just bring the leg down at this hinge. And just bring that back. Just adjust the little paw. Bring that up. And just leave that there for now. Second verse is just like the first. Flip that up. Bring that down. Push this out. Flip that in. Bring this down, bring that down, bring that up a little bit, there we go. And last thing we do, bring in the tail, it will plug in where tails should plug in, and then you can just bring these legs up and have everything just kind of sit flush as it should. And there you go, there you have Tigatron in his beast mode. Wow, I was expecting him to totally fall over. I am impressed. I am impressed, little kitty. Sorry. <laughs> I see cats, it's just what I automatically do. Okay, so here he is in his beast mode. And it looks quite good. It looks quite good in my opinion. I like it, I like it. Let's get in class here so we can take a look at the beast noggin. And see nice sculpt going on there. Some nice paint there in the eyes. Looks quite good. As far as I'm concerned anyway. They do have a nice kind of fur texture molded in there. Looks like little black stripes going throughout. Now the, the weird kind of yellowing effect here, I mean that is intentional. That's not that's not an accidental thing. Um, you know, white tigers do have those discolorations in their fur. I mean whether or not it's pulled off successfully in this figure is a whole different story. I mean it does look a little little patchworky in places because it's like just this back is but there's nothing up here and you know. It looks a little patchworky but they they were trying to make it look a little bit more realistic to a real white tiger. But hey it is what it is. 
You either like it or you don't. I mean, I'm fine with it, but yeah. It does look a little patchworky in places, but not too shabby. Got the tail just hanging down there. And of course, obviously, there's going to be some robot mode bits hanging out somewhere. So you still got this and the toes just kind of hanging out back there. But it is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Hardy har har. But yeah, there is the top. There is the bottom. He slides. A tiger should slide. Hooray. Hooray for sliding tigers. Now, articulation-wise, um, the head doesn't do anything unless you unhook that. Then you can... Have them looking down, but that doesn't look natural at all. Otherwise, there's no movement in the head. Um, you can open open the mouth. You do have some little molded teeth in there and a tongue. So you can meow, meow. That's what he does. That's what he does. Um, the front legs can rotate. They can move in and out quite a bit. You get some forward and back as well. You move this forward, move that back. Uh, the paw itself is on a ball joint, so that has its own wiggly waggly and rotation. But you do also have the paw on a hinge here, which allows the whole thing to move forward and back if you need it to. Um, the hind legs being the robot mode legs, I mean, you have that rotation. You can take a tiger leak and move in and out if that's a thing you need to do. Move all that around. Move this back, move that hinge forward, and the uh, the rear paws are the exact same. The paw itself is on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggling and rotation there, but you also have the hinge right there as well, so you can move this whole thing if you want to. So you got some things to work with there as far as posability in the uh, in the tiger mode. Now, as far as the uh, the gun, there is storage for that. Um, there are ports right here on the uh, on the belly. You just plug that in there, and there's your storage. <laughs> yeah, I just have. That's all I can say. Sure, 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 sure. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the original Beast Wars Tigatron because it's precious! Oh, so precious. And now we'll just do a little uh, group photo here. We're not going to bring in everybody, but we'll bring in some bring in Rhinox. We can't really see Rhinox. He's a little short and stumpy, but just so you can get the idea here of what's going on. Dinobots. Rat Trap can hang out right there. And there is Primal. There you have a little group photo there. As you can see how Tigatron scales with them all. So there you go. So there you have a Tigatron. And yeah, he is a nicely done figure in my opinion. The beast mode. Looks quite good. The robot mode looks quite good. The transformation, it works. It's fun. It's enjoyable. I wish there was better storage for the gut gun, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not a deal breaker. The, uh, the discoloration effect for the, uh, for the tiger fur, that could have been done a little bit better, but again, not a deal breaker. Not the end of the world for me. Overall, I am pretty pleased with this guy, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any other Kingdom figures, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Kingdom playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Kingdom of Voyager Class Tigatron. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Boom in your face. Ah, uh, Tigatron, so nice of you to join us. We could really use some words of wisdom throughout these trying times. Yes, well, um, I, 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 I don't quite have any right now. Are you serious? I have some words of wisdom I could share! 
but oh 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 no 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 let's get out of here let's get out, don't, don't ask questions let's let's let, let's go let's go what where are you going where are you going where are you going